Hi everybody, I am Parul Rastogi. Today I am going to tell you about CCNP T-Shoot. As you know, T-Shoot was introduced in February 2010 and available from July 2010. So, and uh, before Ju July 2010, four exams were there, was there. But uh, after July 2010, we have three exams. That is CCNP Route, CCNP T-Shoot and CCNP uh, Switch. You should know why they change the syllabus. So, because they want what why they want uh, why they why they change the syllabus because they want to be a more focus on CCNP uh, uh, CCNP life scenarios like uh, uh, routing and switching. So you can say the person who did CCNP before 2010 he was not perfect uh, for directly moving into the IT companies. So means uh, he was not able to troubleshoot uh, the direct life scenarios. So that's why the Cisco changed their CCNP curriculum for uh, and made. Uh, made like extremely real world actually from troubleshoot your goal is how to manage the network and work on implemented routing switching scenarios so you can say if we have a good network maintenance strategies then you can typically have a good troubleshooting means cisco is saying cisco said means cisco didn't just create about troubleshooting they said this is the best way that you should manage your life in the cisco world so now as we see we have a slide over here uh, following could lead to the troubleshooting like uh, whenever you are installing a new devices upgrading ios versions monitoring performance security audits implement and implement user requested upgrades documentation so as we know that documentation is the most important part of the ccnp uh, troubleshoot for example if you have a scenario you should have a documentation proper documentation so that that's why whenever any problem comes in the uh, troubleshoot scenario or in the live scenario you should have a proper documentation so uh, all of them are under in the maintenance as you see there is a slide there are uh, so many keys is there to for a successful network maintenance that first of all you should have a plan that is the most important part of the ccnp you should have a plan like uh, first plan is your fcaps fault management configuration management accounting management performance and security management next thing you have idil that infrastructure library uh, information technology infrastructure library and the most important that cisco ppdio that is cisco proprietary so they are giving uh, cisco ppdio ppdio means like prepare plan design implement operate and optimize so these are the life cycles of cisco for managing cisco world so it's not like you can create your own plan also next thing we have schedule the task within your plan meaning you have to schedule your maintenance window like for example uh, like uh, here you have moves adds and changes so whatever the uh, products or whatever the router you are moving from uh, one network to another network or you are adding something you are changing something from the scenarios so those things will be there next is replacing failed device so that is also remember like uh, whatever the uh, ios version is there and whatever the series of the router you, you are changing you should remember those things next thing software upgrades so obviously uh, continuously the cisco is giving the new ios version you should upgrade your ios on the devices and the last thing not the least but that is up upgrading your documentation so whenever you are moving and adding anything you should update your documentation also third is your create assigned maintenance window so that is also most important part so uh, you should create a window you should tell to your uh, company like this is the time that we will change the change our scenario or we will uh, do some r and d's on that so the person who is moving into companies as a normal employee he will not, not feel like whenever he is coming in the morning he is trying to access the internet and it's not working so you should tell this is the day and this is the time so that you can uh, what uh, you can troubleshoot or you can uh, do R and D's on that network. Establishing network maintenance procedures. So that is also most important. First is we have change control. So obviously it's like uh, balancing people's need versus stability of your network. Next thing we have documentation, equipment list, WAN connections, whatever the free resources you have, all those things you should note down in your documentation. Next we have communication. So communication is not like uh, whatever we have normal communication. The thing is what you are doing and the finding out what the other people are doing meaning needs to establish our communication standards that should be there second last thing we have consistency consistency meaning 
you should have uh, standards defining standards how your devices are set up uh, or how you are going to use timestamps that should be same on all the routers because uh, you should use for that uh, NTP servers and all so access list and all should be consistent on all the routers so it's not like that one router you, you are using another access list and another router you are using different access list access list for the same scenario should be same second thing is next thing is cyclic equipment that is cycling equipment is the most important part that is MTBF that is called mean time between failure so you don't have to wait to uh, wait for the device should be die so always you have to say okay uh, by default uh, Cisco is giving 10 years at saying saying like device can work up to 10 years but you should not wait for that you should recycle the devices after every three years so last thing is we have schedules maintenance window that I already talked about assembling your core maintenance tools what is that creating a list of things that every network should be using for maintenance first is you know that telnet ssh consoles ntp server that's recently i told you syslog http https servers gui sdm uh, tftp server eem so these all are the tools that you can download and you have to be in your uh, uh, you have to be in your pen drive and show that anytime you need this these uh, tools you should have immediately you should not have to uh, wait for the downloading and doing the things so you should have in your pen drive next thing we have uh, ios maintenance configuration so uh, i will tell you like by default cisco will provide you so many tools from their ios only so that is like uh, whenever you want to take a backup of the configuration that you can take through the tftp ftp or http so you should use the most uh, uh, usable thing like called we have uh, HTTP or the FTP because both are t uh, TCP not the UDP because in this case TFTP is UDP so for that we have the so many servers like core FTP server is there so you can use it free where it is next thing is archiving config configuration so your iOS tools is tool is providing providing archiving configuration by default configuration rollback NTP logging Cisco website tools. So Cisco on the Cisco website you have some tools that you can use for troubleshooting. So these were the basic steps for troubleshooting. So here uh, I am going to show you the logical topology for troubleshoot that we are going to be used uh, for entire CCNP T shoot program. As you see, this topology contains near around 13 devices over here, and which is the small, which is the small to medium size network. So this will help you to uh, directly go into the company and uh, uh, to troubleshoot the medium to uh, medium to small to medium size network. This topology is totally according to the Cisco CCNP troubleshoot curriculum. So and one more thing I want to tell you like uh, same topology you will face in exams. As you can see there you have the IRO1, IRO2 and these are your uh, core routers over here and you can see this ISP service provider cloud is there and down to that you have some core switches and access layer switches so in this case this is your headquarters and uh, in the right hand side you have your branch office those are having uh, uh, BRO1 and BRO2 those are the devices and in between you have totally redundancy called uh, through the frame relay and the point to point link so uh, you should always you should go through the branch office to headquarters and you have to troubleshoot all the things and then you have the CRO1 CRO2 that is connecting from core to branch office over here and uh, then I, at the end I want to show you the real rack of uh, that we will using for t shoot curriculum so we have the rack over here this rack is having all the devices that you uh, that I talked about in the lab topology like you can see BRO1 BRO2 CRO1, CRO2, ISP, ISP1, ISP2 is there. So all devices you can use up to 3600, 2600 and uh, we have the switches like 3560, 3550. So those devices you need for the troubleshoot topology. That will give you the live scenario of uh, according to the real world. So you can easily uh, get some, gets a hands on on that. So that directly you can move into the company and you can troubleshoot. So that's it for the day and I uh, hope you enjoyed thank you for the watching